Hi guys, it's Rogue here and welcome to Tech Deals. Have you been trying to figure out how to pair your SK621 by Cooler Master with your laptop, your phone, or your iPad? Well, we're gonna take a quick look at that today. It's quite easy, so this will be a short video, but we'll get you sorted out. As you can see in front of me, I've got a laptop, I've got my phone, and I've got the SK621. It's turned off at the moment. I'm gonna turn it on so that you can see the lights and what's blinking so that when you go to set yours up, you'll know what to do. So today we're going to show you the indicator lights on the keyboard. We're going to show you how to pair it for the first time. And then we're going to show you how to pair it after it's been paired. We're going to show you how to switch between the pairing. Let's go and show you how to pair these devices. Currently it's turned off. So let's turn it on. There is a button here on the side. It's the only button on the whole thing. Apart from the place where you plug it in here, you're going to just flick it up and it's going to turn on. There's a little indicator light right here where my finger is and I'll zoom in for you. And when it's pairing, it'll flash three times. So let's get that set up. Now what you're going to do to actually pair is you're going to look at the three buttons down below where the Z is. And you'll see that there is a one, a two and a three with the Bluetooth. And that's what you're actually going to use to pair your devices. So let's get to it. Let's make the laptop one and let's make the phone number two. So you're going to press the Cooler Master function button and then the Z key. You can actually see the blue light here blinking and it's thinking about it. Now it will give you a code that you need to type into the keyboard. There we go. She's connected. Alrighty, so switching between devices is very easy. You just have to use your function keys. So this is Bluetooth number one, this is Bluetooth number two. It's currently set up on my phone, so I can type away, how are you today? And if I wanna switch over to the laptop, then I just hit function number one, and I just type away. I mean, it's really that easy. And if I had a third device, say an iPad or something else, I would set that up on number three hit uh, control and number three and it would switch over and you're good to go. It's that easy to set up the Bluetooth on your new keyboard. Now, one thing you will need to know is that the caps indicator light also tells you how much charge you've got. When that light is red, it's charging. When it has a full charge, it will be green. When that battery light is below 30%, that indicator light will flash red once every 20 seconds. When the battery light is below 15%, that red light will flash twice every 10 seconds. And when the battery is below 5%, it will just go into sleep mode until you charge it. Now, if you do happen to plug it in to charge it, it will automatically switch over to the wired. So there's nothing that you have to do. So that, that makes it nice and easy. Alrighty, so laptop, phone, iPad, or anything else that you need to hook this up to, it's that simple folks. And I like it because you don't have to use one of those little dongles. You just, it's just Bluetooth and you just press the buttons and you've got it all hooked up. Like this video if you like it, share it with your friends if you love it. And remember to subscribe using that big red button below. And as always, click that bell icon if you wanna be notified of upcoming videos. And please do consider joining the Deal Nation, the button next to that bell icon, as that will directly support the channel. And we much appreciate that. So we can bring all these great videos to you. Comments in the comments section below and check the video description as I will put the link to this in there for you. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.